Thank you for purchasing an Interblock Palm Kernel Basic or Basic Plus bin. Over the past few years, Interblock has sold over 100 of these bins throughout New Zealand. Now we have made this great product even more available by launching these DIY bins. This instructional DVD will guide you through the process of installing the bin correctly. Correctly installed, your Interblock bin should provide durable, flexible and weather tight storage for years to come. Along with the delivery of the blocks for your basic or basic plus bin, you will have received an installation kit. Within this kit are the materials and lifting equipment required to install your bin including two 1.3 tonne swift lift lifting clutches, three 600ml tubes of Bostic Seal and Flex commercial grade silicone and one Bostic dual purpose corking gun. Two 750ml cans of Gorilla Flexible Expansion Foam and a foam gun or six cans of 400ml Flexi Expansion Foam. 19 1200 flat bottom blocks. 19 1200 flat top blocks. One 1800 flat top block. One 1800 flat bottom block. Interblock basic bin customers are required to supply their own concrete pad for the bin. The concrete pad must conform to the following minimum specifications. The concrete pad should be laid on firm level ground. If necessary, a layer of hard fill should be spread over the site before the slab is poured. The slab should have a 1 degree fall to the front. This is roughly 100 millimetres over a 10 metre pad. The concrete should be certified and a minimum 30 MPA. The concrete slab must be a minimum of 5.4 metres wide by 10.2 metres long and 150 millimetres thick. Interblock provides an optional concrete apron for customers of the Works and Work Plus bins. A 2 metre apron on the front of the bin is optional, but does help to reduce the waste and provide a clean working area at the front of the bin. Should you opt to add an apron to your pad, we strongly suggest you lay 665 mesh throughout the apron before pouring the concrete. All interblock blocks have a central lifting point. This central lifting anchor is lifted using the swift lift clutch contained in your installation kit set. First attach the swift lift clutch to the lifting arm using a certified chain rated above 2 ton capacity. The groove in the knuckle of the clutch slides around the lifting anchor. The block is now ready to be lifted. The 1800 block requires two swift lift clutches to lift it. The first step to installing the bin requires you to lay a bead of silicone around the outside edge of the pad where the blocks will go. This bead of silicone should be roughly 50 millimeters inside from the edge of the pad. The silicone will cure within a couple of hours so you should be careful to do this immediately before installing the blocks. Start laying the blocks in the installation pattern starting at the back right hand corner of the bin. The blocks should be laid parallel to the edge of the concrete. Once you have placed this first block, run a string line along the edge of the pad to ensure accurate placement of the blocks. The next block should be laid at a 90 degree angle to the first block. Now lay the remaining blocks in the pattern indicated in the install manual.
Now the first layer is complete, the second layer of flat top blocks can be placed. It is useful to start in the same back right hand corner of the bin for the second layer as well. Continue to place the blocks in the same pattern as outlined in the install manual until the bin is complete. Remember, the blocks interlock and so the top layer should sit across two of the blocks on the bottom layer. Sealing the bin correctly is essential to ensuring the bin remains weather tight. The Interblock Basic and Basic Plus bin use flexi expansion foam to seal gaps between the blocks. The foam should be sprayed into each gap between the blocks, including the vertical gaps in the corner of the bin. After 5 minutes of contact with the air, the foam will form a skin. At this stage, patting the foam gently will push the foam further into the gap and flatten it, which should lead to a better seal and reduced waste to clean away. After 30 minutes, the foam should have cured completely. It is essential at this point to remove all excess foam. This can be done with any sharp, flat object such as a craft knife or spade. Your Interblock Basic or Basic Plus Palm Kennel Bin is now complete and ready for use. Should you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on 0800 468 375 or alternatively visit our website www.interblock.co.nz to see a range of technical information and farm storage products.